No problems. No. You're not worried. No, I'm not. Um, and sitting pretty in the middle are two girls. I mean, you must be really happy. Danny, the fact that Daniel stayed in, I mean, you saw it on his face, how, you know, relieved he was about that. It was, yeah, it was a tough night. Are you just finding this easy, breezing through it, knowing that your girls are going to be safe? Well, no, it's always obviously nice that May 3 go through, but it's this part for me that I absolutely hate. Yeah. And, the thing tonight was, I think Austin has proved to the nation that there's no doubt about it, he's an incredible vocalist. Yeah. And I just think Rachel hasn't had that opportunity yet. I think Austin will still do something after this. I think Rachel still needs a few weeks. It's kind of weird saying that, isn't it? Everybody just really genuinely shell-shocked about the situation. I think either if it had been Rachel or Austin, they would have reacted the same. There were two fantastic acts, so... Plus they're friends now. I mean, last week, Rachel was your favourite, and then this week she's in the bottom two. So I guess, Cheryl, it kind of makes you think you can't ever be too safe can because be the girls may be favourites, but then next week you just know what the public are going to exactly. do. Exactly, and it's, it's like people have this idea that it's all about the vocal. It's not. It's not always about having the most amazing vocal. It's about having the, as cheesy as it sounds, the X factor, that something, that thing you can't put your finger on. You can never guarantee a place in the next week. OK, well, look, next week's Mariah Carey week, so that put a smile oh, on all our faces. Oh, I can't yeah. wait for that. I know, exciting stuff.